The Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators states this in its mission. If you find that equity, inclusion, belonging, civility, anti-racism, accessibility, interculturalism, religious tolerance, and understanding are not your values, then we are probably not the right organization for you. Yet, they just fired their diversity officer, a black Jewish woman, for condemning anti-Semitism on behalf of the company. Why? Because critics said the apology did not also acknowledge Islamophobia. Do you ever see people getting fired for condemning Islamophobia without mentioning crimes against the Jews? No. In fact, when Google's diversity officer publicly stated that Jews have a quote, insatiable appetite for war, they simply moved him to a different department. But even when other institutions that condemned anti-Semitism mentioned Islamophobia, they too were forced to apologize. Major corporations, celebrities, politicians, and universities issue statement after statement vowing to march in line with the anti-racism agenda. If you haven't posted a black square yet or called America systemically racist, you can kiss your career goodbye. But the new rule is that no one is allowed to condemn the centuries of persecution of the Jews and the physical attacks on Jews that continue today without mentioning Palestinians or Muslims, as if the two groups cannot be recognized individually. No group can dare condemn anti-Semitism out of fear of retaliation by the cancel mob. They see all Jews as white and therefore privileged, not ranked high enough on the totem pole of intersectionality, undeserving of inclusion in the clique of social justice warriors.